and Kimberly Hauk on the red carpet for Rumor Fix at Sundance. And I'm about to talk to Ethan Hawk. What drew you to that movie? Well, what really drew me to it is the the young people in the movie uh, are exact, you know, they're turning 17, 18, and 1987, which is exactly my story. That's my generation. So to get to play the parent looking back at my generation was really interesting to me. I was just hypnotized by the story. It's a great novel. Um, and it's a little slice of life that people don't know about and about ordinary people. And so I really like it. We got to talk boyhood. We got to talk the Oscar nomination. Mm -hmm. thoughts? What are my thoughts? It's like a dream come true. I, I don't have anything interesting really to say about it. Uh, it's so rare that independent cinema kind of can puncture corporate America and reach people. And that's the goal. Everybody who's coming to Sundance wants to be heard and understood and wants to find an audience. You know, sometimes we win and sometimes we lose, uh, succeed or fail. But that's the goal. It just means that there are like-minded people in the universe and it makes me feel like, I don't know, like it's, I'm going to be chasing that dream for another 40 years. Look, I, I first came here in 1990, okay? So I'm feeling a little old, but um, it makes me feel really happy to be part of a community and that so many people care about independent cinema, you know? There's so much noise made about hit TV shows or big budget movies and stuff. It's cool to see so many people still care about little movies and smaller voices. Join us for more at Sundance at rumorfix.com.